knowledge is king and Lady Luck is queen. It's the Joker's Wild. And now, here's the host of the show, Bill Collins. Thank you. You're a nice bunch. Hello and welcome back to the Joker's Wild. Well, final show of this particular five-show series. And uh, at this point, we're going to pick up a game which we began last time. So right now, without any further ado, or whatever ado is, Charlie, if you would, bring back our players. Bill, first hour challenger. She's a former cosmetologist who has an unusual story about her name, Ruth James. And our current champion just graduated from medical school. His interest includes sailing and skiing. His winning total in cash, $2,650. Glenn Capewish. Well, we welcome both of you back. Hello, Ruth. Hi, Bill. You and I are resplendent in red today. You're wearing a lovely red blouse. Thank you. And I'm wearing a lovely red tie, if I it looks, do say so myself. You look very handsome. Pretty close to the same shade of red, too, is it not? Well, we're twins. Oh, but that's not bad. You were a cosmetologist, were you, Ruth? That's true. Uh, did you just uh, decide to retire and do nothing for a while, or did you go Well, after 50 line? years of doing ladies' hair, I thought it was time I retired. 50 years? Congratulations, Ruth. Thank you. Happy to have you with us. I'm glad you made Thank it. Thank you. Daughter. That's right. Well, now, here's a fellow who's at the other end of his career. He just recently graduated from medical school at UCLA. He's now a doctor. And he's doing his internship now at UCLA. It is Glenn Kawish. And Glenn, the important thing about you, of course, what I just said is the important thing, is that you're our new champion and you have won two thousand six hundred fifty dollars. <laughs> Sounds good. Welcome back, Glenn. Thank you, Bill. As we said, uh, a young doctor who's going into internship can use all the money he can make. He, he can. certainly can. Well, we, you, you have your brother here still? Uh, yeah. He's yeah. very loyal. Sticks with you and watches you and sports you. And let's take his picture. Gary it is, isn't it? Yep, Gary. Okay, hi there, Gary. Wave at the folks. There he is. There's Gary. Ruth, are you here alone? I'm here by myself. All right, we'll start the game. First of all, Ruth and Glenn, let me show both of you the categories. These are the ones we're going to be playing with. They are Academy Awards. Mountains, multiple meanings, business and industry, and finally, fact or photo, where you either hear a fact or see a photo. These are the ones we were playing with when time was called. The scores when time was called are these. 300 for our challenger, Ruth, 150 for our champion and three-time winner, Glenn. Now, natural triple jackpot, if either of you come up with the same category, across the board is now worth $3,600 worth of merchandise. Okay, both of you ready to go? Ruth, if you would, give a spin. It's your turn. Let's see what you get. Okay, thank you. Ruth has factor photo, mountains, and a joker to do with. I'll Thank try factor photo for 100 please. Factor photo for $100. Uh, the answer to this factor photo question, Ruth, is the name of a sports superstar. A sports superstar. Would you like to hear the facts, or would you like to see the photo for a hundred dollars. I'll take the photo. You're going to take the photo? Let me get out of the way here. Can you see the photo over there, Ruth? Yes. Okay. <laughs> you, you, you say that like a lovesick maiden, Ruth. Anyway, take a look at the picture and for a hundred dollars, please, what's the last name of this former football great? Namus. Oh, you're right. And you have... I, uh... I gather from the way you said yes that you uh, could see the photo that you were a Namath fan. Oh, indubitably. <laughs> he was good, too. Not as good as Namath, but he was good. Uh, That's for sure. One of the four horsemen, as I recall. Glenn, if you're ready to spin, we wish you luck. I need some jokers. Oh. Here comes... Joker. Hey, there's a joker. Facts are full. Look Ooh. at that. <laughs> That's your basic... Basic darn good spin, Glenn. Oh, yeah. I'll go factor photo for 200, Bill. Going for 200, and this will bring you up to 350 and pretty close to Ruth. The answer to this factor photo question is, Glenn, the name of a type of flower. Type of flower. Would you like to hear the facts, or would you like to see the photo? Let me hear the facts, Bill. Okay. Facts coming for you. This type of bulbous flower is distinguished by its long, blade-like leaves and yellow petals. One widely cultivated species is called the trumpet narcissus, which can have flowers about two inches across. 
for $200, Gwen, name this type of flower. Tulip? No, it is not. And now, Ruth, you've heard the facts. And now, before you answer, you get a chance to see the picture. So let me step aside. Take a look. And now, you've heard the facts, Ruth. You have $400. 200 is at stake. If you answer this correctly, you, you uh, have a very, uh, you have a win. The win is yours. Now, name the type of flower. The facts you heard, and there's the picture. This is for the game. An amarillo? No. No, it is not, and that's it. The actual, the actual answer to that one is daffodil. But we could have accepted oh, Narcissus. So close and yet so terrible. far. It's still 400 to 150. And we'll be back here at Joker's Wild in just a moment. So we have 400 for Ruth and still 150 for Gwen. Not much has changed. Ruth, you ready to do a spin there? I'll try. All right, here Thank comes Ruth you. spinning for what she hopes will be a win. Factor photo again, multiple meanings, and a joker. And what do you want to do, Ruth? I'll take the factor photo, please, for 100 All right, for $100, which would give you 500 and enough for a possible win. The answer to this factor photo is the name of a Hollywood celebrity. What do you want to do, Ruth? Hear the facts or see the photo? I'll see the photo, please. You want to see the photo? Let me get out of the way here. Photo, please. Take a look at this picture. Can you see? Now, what's the last name for $100, total of $500? And can you see okay? I can see, but oh. Oh, okay. You can see the picture. Though. Yes, I, I can. What's the last name of this glamorous actress from Hollywood's heyday for $100, Ruth? Please don't help. Lana Turner? Lana Turner is the correct answer. You have yourself 100 bucks up there. You are right. Yeah. That doesn't look like it. It doesn't look all that much like Lana to me, but you were right, and that's the important thing. And you now have $500 and a possible win. And, Glenn, it's your spin. Now, Glenn, you know what you have to do in order to stay in the I game. I need three jokers. Three jokers is what he needs. Anything less than Ruth's the champ. Come on, jokers. There goes Glenn. One. Congratulations, Ruth. You're a brand new champ. Well, Ruth, congratulations. That was quite a game. Thank you. And you were very gracious. Uh, very gracious. I think you were apologizing to Glenn for the win. Was that what you were doing? Mm -hmm. More or less. And Glenn, you too were very gracious. Thank you, Bill. I'm going to be back to talk to you in just a moment, Ruth. Glenn, uh, this is Glenn Kawish. I, I wish you and your brother, who will soon be out of medical school, at least I hope he will soon be, uh, you're a graduate. I wish you a long and successful career in ophthalmology, and thank you for being with us. Glenn. Thanks a lot, Bill. Thank it's been you. fun. Good luck. $2,650. Now, uh, Ruth James and I will be back here, at which point we'll give Ruth a chance to go against the devil, something that's happened before, I suppose, in her life. Many times. Time. Right now, we have this for you. <laughs> Ruth, you ready? I'm ready, Bill. All right, come on over here. You're going to get your first chance to go up against the devil. Welcome. Let me get myself untangled. I, I jokingly said you're going to get a chance to do something you've probably done before in your life, which is go up against the devil. We've, we've all done that. Indeed we have. I imagine you, you won, didn't you, when you've been up against the devil? You came out of head? I'm, I'm this old. Yeah, I'm 27. Right. You're 27. Very, very good. And you have been a cosmetologist for seven of those years, right? Well, I'm, I always think that life begins at 40. It does. I'm glad, too. <laughs> it does? Yeah. Might not be starting any day. Sure. Now, you know, Ruth, that you can stop at any point along here and take the money. You know that. If, however, if you get all the way through to the thousand without seeing the devil, you win that money plus this prize. Ruth, after a hard day's work, you'll find these gifts soothing indeed. First, Ruth, you'll put your favorite music on a fine stereo. Select it with a $300 gift certificate from J.T.'s General Store. Select from fashions, housewares, and much more in the J.T.'s General Store in-home shopping catalog. Then you'll shut out the noise and glare with the sumptuous drapes. Springcrest custom draperies with rounded pleats that hang straight top to bottom. Beautiful draperies begin with a visit to your independently owned Springcrest Drapery Center. Next, you'll settle back in this comfortable recliner. Deep plush seat highlighted by wicker frame and slender graceful design are blended into contemporary luxury, trade win, action recliner from Lane. 
And finally, Ruth, for a vacation that's truly a tonic, we suggest soothing your nerves by relaxing on the beach in idyllic Hawaii. <laughs> Land of sugarcane, coconuts, exotic flowers, and breathtaking sunset. You'll enjoy tropical sun, golden beaches, and fabulous entertainment when you answer this call to the islands. You'll enjoy European-style luxury at Colony Resort's Diamond Head Beach Hotel. Just 10 minutes from wa a walk from Waikiki. Pool kitchens and private lanai's. Enjoy breakfast on the seaside veranda or tennis and a driving range in Kapiolani Park. This soothing package is worth in cash and prizes over $3,250. Now, yeah. I don't think I asked you, are, are you here alone, or is there someone with you today? No, I'm by myself. Oh, I did ask you that. Now yeah. I remember, now that I hear the answer. Okay, <laughs> you're going now for the trip to Hawaii and everything else, total of uh, 3250 mm -hmm. You can quit whenever you want. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. Here goes Ruth. <laughs> yeah, that was enough to get him going. He had 50 total of $150, $250. Now you decide. I'm going. I'm going. Mm -hmm. I'm going. <laughs> 215, 325, 375, five and a quarter, I believe, but hold it now. 525. You're good. Okay, I'm going. Really? She's not even she's not even hesitating. 525, 725, 825, 850. Now make up your mind. Don't worry. I'm going. You're going. I'm going. She's going. All right, she's going. Let's we'll see. As long as you don't see it at all here. Last. Isn't that awful? That's all right. Huh? That's all right. I got to see you. Well, yeah, but I'm not worth as much as you would have had there. I'll tell you, oh, I mean, a little peek at you is worth that much more than that to me. You are the nicest person I've ever met, Ruth. I thank you very much. Listen, you didn't you didn't get there. You got all the way up to that last panel. You were well over the $1,000 limit. You are still our champion, and you're still going to be playing. You stay right here with me, because Charlie O'Donnell is going to introduce your next opponent. If you would, please, Charlie. My pleasure, Bill. He's a filmmaker whose interests include backpacking and roller skating, Jan Krepeline. Jack uh, Krepeline is... <laughs> Krepeline, right, Jack? Jam? Yes. Jan Krep, we're happy to have you here. What kind of films do you make? Uh, well, mostly I've been doing things in news and some commercials, and what I prefer the most is documentaries. That's a bit of the reason I'm here, actually. Are you planning on doing a documentary right here? Well, it wouldn't be a bad idea, I guess, but uh, it helps to have the money to continue to do them. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean. You're not going to do a documentary about what you see here. No, I guess it is true. You, in other words, you say it helps to have the money, so you do these things, you raise the money, do them, and then the idea is to sell them after you've done it, right? Or just to get them started. Get them. I That's understand. A lot of it. <laughs> We're happy to have you here, Jan. You and Ruth have met. You know each other. So, Jan and Ruth, let me step aside and show you the categories we're going to be playing with. State capitals, all about colors, literature, rock music, and finally, fast-forward politics, which is a pretty good category. Give you an opportunity to do some catching up and answer as many questions as you like. Natural triple jackpot, if you get the same category, is now worth 3,600 bucks. Jan, good luck. Pull away and let's see what you get. Okay, jokers. You have a joker. Rock music, state capitals. Yes, sir. Uh, I'll go with state capitals for 100, please. State capitals for 100. In 1636, clergyman Roger Williams founded Providence, the only settlement in the American colonies that assured religious freedom. Today, the city of Providence serves as an American state capital. For $100, please, Jan, what state? Rhode Island. Rhode Island certainly is correct, and you have $100. <laughs> All right, Ruth. Okay. Ruth's going to try to catch him, and Ruth has all about colors. Fast forward. Another oh, one. Fast forward dear. politics. What do you want to do? Well, let's try the fast-forward politics for 100. All right, Ruth, fast-forward for 100. Now, in fast-forward politics, you answer as many questions as you wish. Each one pays the amount of the spin. If you miss an answer, you lose the total money that you have earned in the spin. You understand that? Yes. And Jan gets a chance to pick up the amount of a single spin. So it's number one for $100. This Midwestern state has been represented in the U.S. House of Representatives by such noteworthy politicians as Everett Dirksen, John Anderson, and Abraham Lincoln. For your first of fast-forward politics and $100, name this Midwestern state. Illinois. Correct. You have one answer. Now, 
You can take your hundred dollars, or you can go on risking the hundred dollars in case you miss. What do you want to do? I'll take one more. Go one more. All right. You know, you'll still get a chance. You don't have to commit about one. But now, this is your next one. He was the first American president to be born in the 20th century, and he was the first Roman Catholic president. For another hundred dollars, what's his last name? Kennedy. Correct. You now have two hundred dollars. Now, you may, if you want to go on, you may tell me now, or you may stop right here and take the two hundred. Go on and risk it. What do you want to do? I think I'll stop. Okay, Ruth's going to stop. She has a 200. Jan has a 100. We'll be back to give Jan a chance to spin a little while. But right now, we're going to pause and give Jan to watch these work. Oh, okay. It's 100, and Ruth, who turned out to be the conservative, has 200. Jan, the spin is yours. Good luck. Okay. Joker. Jan's spinning to get ahead. He has fast forward. The capitals and literature, a three-way split, Jan. I'll take fast forward politics, please. I can 50. see you for 50 bucks. Well, you know what happens. You can answer as many questions as you wish, each one worth 50 bucks. And here comes your first one for $50, please, Jen. In 1962, astronaut John Glenn became the first American to orbit the Earth. In 1974, he launched a successful political career and was elected to the United States Senate. The question is for $50, in which state, or rather, the question is which state sent Glenn to the Senate? Ohio. Ohio is correct, and you had $50 in one hand. You want to go on? I'll uh, try another one, please. Yeah. Try another one, risking the 15 for this one. Second one. The presiding officer in the House of Representatives is also the recognized leader of the majority political party. What title is given to that congressional leader for your second answer? I'm sorry, could you repeat the question, please? Yeah. The presiding officer in the House of Representatives is also the recognized leader of the majority political party. What title is given to that congressional leader? Speaker of the House. Correct. It was sort of hard to follow. I see your point. Yeah, was, <laughs> you want to go on, Jan? I'll go one more. Go one more? Yeah. Okay, you're not committed to merely one, but here's your next question. Uh, risking your 100 to pick up another 50. In 1978, New Jersey voters elected this former Rhodes Scholar and professional basketball player to the United States Senate. For another $50, and to keep what you've already won, he was Bill who? Please do not help. Uh, Jersey? No. Now, Ruth, you can win the $50 if you can tell me Bill who? Please don't help. Oh, no, I'm surprised. Bill Bradley. Bill Bradley, who's been considered as a possible Democratic candidate, a candidate for presidency. Yeah. And he was also a member of the New York Knickerbockers. How many people that. knew that? <laughs> Ruth, you ready to spin? I am, sir. Okay, Jan didn't pick up anything in that one, okay. but Ruth spins now with 200. Rock music, all about colors. And another one. All right, let's have all about colors for 100, please. All right. White dwarfs and red giants are both forms of heavenly bodies, Ruth. What type of celestial objects are they? White dwarfs and red giants for $100. Stars. <laughs> you got in there in I time, and you're absolutely you right. Stars. <laughs> <laughs> were, you, were you guessing, Ruth? Pardon? Were you guessing? Yeah, I was guessing it was all the way. <laughs> it was a darn good guess, Ruth. All right, Jan, if you're ready, spin away. Okay, Joker. Jan has Joker. Jan has literature, and he has state capitals. Yes, Jan. Uh, I'd like state capitals, please, for 100. The world headquarters of the Mormon Church, Jan, is located in Utah's capital city. In fact, over one half of the city's population follows the Mormon faith. For $100, name Utah's state capital. Salt Lake City. Correct. You have 100, and you're up there with two. Ruth, spin away. Okay. Ruth has all about colors, rock music, and a joker. What do you want to do, Ruth? Oh, is there any question? <laughs> all about colors. <laughs> okay. Here you go. Uh, For 100, sir. 100 dollars. Okay. On the 1980s TV series, The Golden Girls, this veteran actress portrayed Rose, a slightly daffy woman living with three female companions. For $100 and a lead at this point of 400 to 2, this actress, Ruth, is Betty who? White. <laughs> right. 
Betty White is the right answer. I was feeling you were guessing again, but that's not for me to say. We'll be back to Joker's Wow right after this brief <laughs> Well, Ruth and Jan, we would like for the sake of both of you to have come to a decision here. We have not. It's 400 for Ruth, 200 for Jan. We're going to ask both of you to come back next time and pick it up where, right where we are. Would you do that, Ruth? Okay. Our champion and you, Jan? I'd love to. Thank you very kindly. We'd like it very much if you join us, too. See you then on The Joker's Wild. Goodbye. <laughs> Trash compactor to the National Triple Jackpot. Unclutter your kitchen with a KitchenAid trash compactor. Features exclusive litter bin and charcoal filter odor control. And now the Natural Triple Jackpot is worth over $4,100. Some of our money contestants will receive. The more you hear, the more you read, the more you ask your doctor, you'll know why Bayer is the wonder drug that works wonders. I eat chunky soup. After all, when you're competing with people half your age, you need all the help you can get. Chunky. The soup that eats like a meal. Joker's Wild is a Jack Barry and Tanner Drive production.